Hi guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at a replay. This one was sent in by a clan member of CNDS, that's Cobra Nation Death Squad. His name is Blackhawk in uh, the clan, and uh, he's playing an arcade game in his M4A1 Sherman here, as you can see. And uh, it is an arcade. It is an arcade battle, I believe. Let me just double check that real quick. Yes, it is an arcade battle. It says so right up there. And so, he wants me to give criticism about how he played this match. He feels that he could have done better. And so, I'm going to let certain things just play out. And then I'm going to pause the video and I will give my feedback. We've already got the first tank spotted. A uh, Baden 54. He's a medium tank of some kind. A couple of the light tanks are getting ready to do a cavalry move, which usually means over the trench they go. Now, this isn't a bad defense. Where he's heading now is not a bad defensive position. It really isn't. The reason why I say that is because he'll have protection from his sides. Now, he is, of course, in a Tommy Cooker, which means that a lot of the ammo in the Tommy Cooker, as you can see, is heavily stored in the sides and center mass of the tank. So what you want to do is you want to cover up those sides. Uh, I know that that severely limits your field of uh, a field of fire and your view and your your uh, uh, cone of fire. But at the end of the day, you 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 have to be very 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 defensive in a Sherman, not aggressive. Um, you can be aggressive in a Sherman, but eventually you will pay for it. So. If this was me, I would stop about here, and I would hug closely to this rock right here, with my hull at a 45 degree incline aimed towards the rock, with my turret aimed roughly over in that hillside direction. Maybe I'd stop right here and pull out my binoculars and look over the ridge. Granted, this is arcade mode, but still, you don't know if these guys have anything for spotting range, for view range, for gunnery range. So always play safe, even if you're in a in a, 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 a team game like this. Now, if you're platooned up with a squad, that's a different story because you're usually probably on something like Team Speak or, or Ventrilo or something like that. Again, he smartly uses the rock for cover, but he's not angled. He's not angling. So let's let, let's let's use Sezek 140 here for a second. Now, as you can see clearly, right there, he's out in the open. Okay. Now this is a Panzer 4 F1. This has got a nice little uh, uh, 75 millimeter punchy gun that can easily go through an M4A1 Sherman if you know where to aim, especially if they're showing you their sides like he is in this in this angle here. Do you see? But he's more uh, taken up with killing the light tanks because he wants kills. This player here clearly doesn't understand what teamwork is. Now, of course, there's the Panzer III Als F behind him. That has a 50mm gun. That can, that can get through a Sherman's front armor with the right knowledge, of course. So I'm going to go back to black. Okay, now he has successfully pulled back some and is only revealing uh, uh, this section of his tank where I'm highlighting with the mouse. And the downside to that is, is that's where his driver's at. So there's a high chance his driver could have got sniped, which means he's immobile from anywhere between a minimum of five seconds up to anywhere like 30 seconds, depending if there was any additional damage done. Because don't forget, his, trans his transmission is right in the front here. And he's creeping forward. Again, patience is a virtue. Okay, now there, look, right there, Baden 54. 
who, if he was paying attention, look who he had complete side shots on. Right there. His entire flank is exposed. Right there. His entire flank was exposed. But he's too uh, 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 content on dealing with this M4 Sherman. But if this guy had any kind of uh, um, awareness, he would have realized, oh shit, I've got side shots on on these guys that are putting pressure on our guys trying to get into the Charlie Cat. But he didn't. That's the only thing that saves Black here is the dumbfoundness of that player and the lack of awareness on Black's part as well. Now, Black is in my clan, so I'm trying to give the best advice that I can that helps him be a better tanker. But first things first, situational awareness. Right there, look, 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 look. As much as he's exposed to him, the enemy is exposed to him. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a 50, it's a equal trade-off. It would come down to who has the better gunner and who has the right shell loaded. So he rolls forward. Now he's gotten under that Sherman's gun. Okay. Now he's going to lose a lot of speed here. Trying to get up the Sherman's design for mobility. Um, so yeah, it does lack... Right there, another Sherman to his left. Contact, 11 o'clock. Doesn't even look at it. It's probably because he has uh, uh, tunnel vision on these guys. Now... I don't know what any of the enemy's thinking. I really don't. But let me give you a little hint, enemy, to you Striker 4, to you Coco 02, and to you Bad Flumple, Bad Flame PL. You're in American tanks. They are meant for mobility, not armor. So remaining stationary is stupid. With that being said, enjoy the slaughter. And at the same part, using your... Yes, granted, it is arcade mode. But don't use your machine guns. I, I know you're using them for maybe additional damage if he's side on or showing you his rear... But do not use your machine guns because it allows other tankers, for example, like this Panzer IV F1, who he doesn't have shots on, but that F1 may have shots on him. It allows them to range in on you like that. So only ever use your machine guns in an anti-air defense role or as a, a last-ditch effort when dealing with an annoying light tank like the M2. gotten into a bit of a uh, shooting match here, of course, you know. Black's... Oh! Nailed him. Right in his ammo. So that's uh, uh, Black's first kill. Again. Mobility. Now, this, this is a big freaking no-no. This is a humongous no-no. You've got no protection from sides. Wow, a rock is not going to protect you. If that M4A1 Sherman was even that enemy one right there, Max Max Vons, whatever his name is, I'll just call him Dave. If Dave there had any kind of freaking brains in his skull, that T50 would be dead already. And he'd be in a prime position to snipe Nick or Blackhawk, right here, and end his tank's day, like that. And so, again, he's overly exposed himself. He hasn't even angled. He is full on 90, 90 degrees against the targets he's shooting at. He's also shooting at an M3, okay? M3 Stuart, I believe. I wouldn't bother shooting at the M3 
I would be shooting at the Panzer III J1. Now, why the J1? Well, the J1 has a gun that can kill you. That for some reason, again, half these guys who had really good tanks were aiming at tanks that were beneath them, combat-wise. They were just looking for cheap and quick and easy kills. And sadly, that one T-50 that that uh, M4 Sherman should have killed has now killed the Sherman. Seriously? It looks like Lady Luck is clearly on Blackhawk's side here. But I would have been, sh I would have been shooting... I would have ignored the Panzer 3N. The, the 3N is the premium tank, I believe, that has... Yeah, it's the premium tank that has the little derpy, inaccurate howitzer. It was meant for anti-infantry. I would ignore it for now. I would have gone for the J1 or the Zis-30. Especially the Zis-30. The Zis-30's gun will punch a hole in you the size of flapjacks all day. At any range. So he's wised up and he's now aiming for the... For the Zis-30. He's taken no damage yet. Sister, he's aiming at Sherman. Misses. Okay, he's lost a couple of crewmen. And there we go. Blackhawk finally took him out. Right there. See it, guys? Right there is where you want to aim to take out a uh, Zis-30. Because that's where the majority, if you look, driver, co-driver, and the ammo. He clearly hit it. And the shrapnel went through and made the tank completely combat ineffective. Good shooting there. But again, you've oh, look, 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 you've overly exposed yourself. You can see that the enemy has taken both Alpha and is in the process of taking uh, uh, Charlie. You're overexposing yourself. You're overexposing your 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 weaker lower plate. So it's still to a Panzer 1J, and you're going for a 4C. Makes no sense. You want to be punching up, see, right there. And now, all of a sudden, you've noticed the Panzer 3 one j Always, 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 always. First thing, regardless, it, if you're playing arcade mode, first thing I do is I hit that tab button, I look at the enemy, I know who to look out for, and I know who to ignore. It, 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 it's always smart to think before the battle starts. Now, now he's going to dogfight with a Panzer 1J. I don't know what this 1J was doing. Clearly, this 1J is either brand stock, new, or he hasn't got a fracking clue. And the Panzer 1J got took out by a Marder 3. Again, he's, oh, he's not angled. He's not... Thinking about, you know, wait a minute, you know, A still captured, is there potentially a tank destroyer out there? Is there potentially another Zis-30 or a Marda? He's starting an air battle with his tank openly exposed. There's a Marda 3H right there. What the hell is he thinking? Okay, he's appears he's in a hurricane. Mark 2B. Let's see what he goes for. Personally, I would go for that flanking Panzer 4C. Looks like he's going for this F1. Couple of rockets into it. Gets it and crashes his plane. Okay. Now, M3A1 is trying to take some shots at him. Along with whatever that is. But don't forget there's that Panzer 4C out there. It's a Panzer 3E taking a shot at him. Misses, it goes high. Again, someone doesn't know how to adjust their sights. He bounces off the Panzer 3M. And that barely lacked the penetration to get through his turret. Panzer 3 e is again giving away his position by firing his machine guns. 
you, you forget guys after 10 seconds you disappear as long as you're not spotted by another enemy tank so firing your machine guns just literally translates I'm here I'm here you might as well be waving flags and having a rave now they successfully captured uh, Charlie but Charlie is getting a counter push they have a friendly Junker 87D in the sky Still trying to dance with this Panzer 3E. I would have closed in the difference. I would have used my speed. I would have started to get closer. Again, when you're in a plane, take a mental note of where the enemy is at. Take a mental note. So, okay, three tanks flanking left side down the, the, the 1, 2, 3 line. You know? Take Always take mental notes. Also... Another thing you need to do is take a mental note of how many planes are in the sky, both friendly and enemy. Especially friendly, because they don't care. They're just going to spam their bombs. They don't care if they kill you or not. You know? And he got the Panzer 3E. E. Must have set him on fire. Now, with that done, is he going to roll forward? He starts to roll forward. He's got four kills now and four assists. Seriously want to know how this tank hasn't taken a single scrap of damage. It's mostly luck. Okay, looks like uh, Charlie is getting a rave. <laughs> okay, so he's rolling up again. Again, this is a huge freaking no-no. You're going to expose your entire tank. Granted, Shermans get really good gun depression. But look at that. Look at this. Look at this. If you know where the enemy's at, like that F1, why? 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 Why would you expose yourself like this? Okay, he now knows where you're at. Because you just took a shot at him. And now you're firing your machine guns. Just wow. Just wow. You lucked out, my friend. You absolutely freaking lucked out. I'm serious, guys. This is probably... His, he, his tank's probably full of lucky rabbit's feet. I'm serious. I, I could only hope and... Uh, right there, there's an M2A4. Who's got side shots on you? A Stug 3, even. And I don't even know what that other one is. I know I, I, I know Benjamin Sisko said future favours the bold, but damn. Okay, Panzer 3F. It, what? Let's look at that Panzer 3F real quick. Where, where is he going? Mike Mailman. Literally, he's ignoring getting his tank whopped on by an M4 Sherman. Bam! Looks like that bounced somehow. I don't know how. Unless he was firing a HE. Okay, now there's an enemy bomber in the sky. And just wow. Holy holy shit snacks. There's an enemy BF-109 that he's decided to stop and shoot at. This, this, this just dumbfounds me, man. Holy crap, Nick. Just holy crap, brother. Okay, he does a, a brief 360 look. And, oh, he's trying to do a 360 no scope. Now you're just showing off. <laughs> okay, there's a Panzer 3F that's got shots on him. When the light, when their name is a dark red. You can have shots on them, or they can have shots on you. Again, guys, pay attention to your HUD. Stops. Don't know if he hits him or not. Fires a couple of machine guns off it in. It could be in his spawn with spawn protect. Oh! Panzer 2C is lighting you up in the turret. Nailed your, nailed your barrel. He's looking at trying to disable... Uh, Black Hawk here. Again, I would get down under his gun if you know where you're being shot from. Don't sh Oh my god, you just showed him your rear. 
You just showed him your rear. Holy shit, Snacks. Have I taught you guys nothing? You don't show an auto load of your rear. That That's like every Frenchman's... That's like every ELC AMX's wet dream. You know? Oh, and you're starting an air battle. This late in the game, I, I wouldn't. This late in the game, I wouldn't. You've got all three caps. The enemy's down to two tanks. And you drove forward to expose your tank. What the hell, man? You... You are one lucky son of a bitch. That, that's all I gotta say. It's, it, it, it's over now. The timer's gonna run out. You're not gonna get to drop your bombs. See? That's why you're dropping them early. GG. Congratulations. And... Wow. Just friggin' wow. You have to be... The most luckiest son of a bitch... In all of War Thunder in that one game. You must have had every lucky rabbit's foot... Um, every lucky, everyone's lucky penny. You must have had everything to get to get that kind of luck. You sir, just wow, just wow. Okay, guys, and we're back. So, do's and don'ts with the shaman. Well, first things first, don't expose yourself. Second of all, make sure you have everything unlocked. For example, the artillery strikes and the right kind of ammunition. Now, I've already done videos based on the right kind of ammo for the right kind of job. So, I'm going to give you a rough x-ray of what we saw. As you can see, all Sherman's ammos, all Sherman's, including the Sherman Firefly, their ammos are roughly stored center mass of the vehicle. In Soviets, there are actually some ammo is actually stored by the drivers and, 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 and whatnot, which is just silly. But at the end of the day, guys, he overexposed himself by not protecting himself. He didn't angle, and I honestly believe it was a 50-50 thing. There were some errors on his part, but there were some major errors on the opponent's parts. None of the guys who had good enough guns even paid attention to him. Not a single one of them. Not the Panzer threes, both the J, the J1, or the Panzer four C paid attention to him. They were too busy killing the light tanks. That tells me that they were not even remotely interested in being a team player. That they were mostly interested in kills, 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 kills. So you can always spot the World of Tanks players, or the Heroes and Generals players, or the Armored Warfare players within War, uh, 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 War Thunder. Simply because the way they play. I am a team player. Okay? Plain and simple. Every stream that I'm streaming, you know, War Thunder, you see that I am a team player. If I'm grouped with Power Hands or Warhammer or whoever, you openly see that I am a team player. That the only thing that I care about is that my tank platoon does well as a whole. Not myself. Yes, granted, if we're... In my T in our T thirty four platoon, okay. If we are in our T thirty four platoon, like this this platoon, which is our what we call our, our fun our, our fun platoon, I meet we we tend to get very 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 aggressive in T thirty fours because they were designed to be aggressive tanks. They were designed to be frontline tanks. They weren't designed to be snipers or anything else. But anyway. And then it comes down to a, a little banter between me and Pell, who can get the most kills. But ultimately, when I'm playing Americans, Americans are a very defensive tank. They rely on mobility to get them out of the shit. For example, look at the Hellcat. There is a review coming of the Hellcat here soon. I'm just waiting to get to a friend's museum where I actually get to drive a real Hellcat. But anyway, more on that later. But at the end of the day, guys, the Sherman tank in general is a... Whether it's got the up armored, up, up armor, or the up gun, or whatever, is still a, a, a mobile tank. It's designed to shoot on the move, which is why Shermans were the first tanks fitted with a vertical stabilizer. Unfortunately, that is not representative here in War Thunder, which is a shame, because 
all American tanks past 1941, with the exception of a few, were actually designed to have a vertical stabilizer installed. And even by today's standards, how do you think tanks can shoot on the move? They have both a vertical and a horizontal gun stabilizer that is computer controlled. So there you go. But at the end of the day, guys, when it comes down to it, what Black Hawk did was, I'm not sure if it was ballsy or if it was just stupid. And I, I say that out of love. I'm not saying it out to be insulting. I'm not trying to insult him. He openly left his flank wide open. He he totally, you know, just tunnel visioned on specific tanks ahead of him, ignoring the tanks to his side. And those tanks that were, had successfully flanked, that didn't shoot at him, fucking shame on you. Fucking shame on you. Again, I say that with all the love in the world. You know this, Nick. Next time, buddy, pay the fuck attention. You know, don't get tunnel visioned. So on the do's, be defensive. Be a team player. You know, if you've successfully disabled a tank and set it on fire, pick a different target. Because there's a high chance that one of your friendlies is going to come along and snatch it. You know, you still get EXP and credits for, for disabling it. And you're now getting more EXP and credits for disabling or destroying another bloody tank. Worst case, better case scenario, the guy you shot at doesn't have repair kits or doesn't have a fire extinguisher because it's a brand new tank to him. Guess what? He's now going to just burn and burn and burn and burn and burn. And you're just going to keep ticking off all those critical hits. You see what I'm saying? You've got two, two target focused. And that will be a downfall of you. Uh, I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm talking about. Where you're so focused on one tank, you didn't see the T-50 or, or the other M4 Sherman or the other Panzer IV coming from the left or the right and boom, you're gone. Because you didn't pay attention. Situational awareness. They give you that little mini map for a reason, my friend. Use it. Okay? Use it. That's the only advice I can give you. Uh, other than that, um, you know, use your artillery. Uh, I use it in two uh, two ways. You use it as a defensive measure, i.e. that you've capped A successfully and they're counter pushing it and no, you've got no friendly tanks to, to defend it. Throw an arty down on A. Well, best case scenario, you've actually da critically damaged the tank or destroyed the tank that's trying to take A. Or you know there's a, a specific alleyway or a crossway that's full of enemy tanks and you need to get across there, use your artillery. Throw it down, not on those tanks, but in front of those tanks. Kicks all the dirt and the dust and everything up in the way. You can just zoom, dart across using your speed. It's what I do in my T-34. That way they didn't get shots on you. And they, you know, if you're fast enough, they won't even spot you until it's too late when you're behind them. And you go poop, 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 poop. And you put them all out of, their, out of their misery. Do you see? Just little tips I can give for you for advice. Again, medium tanks are designed for flanking. They're not designed for, to be frontline battle tanks. They're not IS-1s. They're not M103s. They're not Mausers. They're not uh, Tigers. They're not Tiger 2s. They're not Yag Tigers or Yag Panthers. Panther tanks are designed to flank. Panzer 3s and 4s are designed to flank. M4 Shermans are designed to flank. Walker Bulldogs are designed to flank. You gotta know the role of the tank. History, you know, Wikipedia and various other sources are your best friend, my friend. Learn the tank tactics. Read uh, actual tank commanders' strategies with specific tanks like the Sherman, the Sherman Firefly, the Panzer III, the Panzer IV, uh, the Tiger, the Panther. Uh, um, the Cromwells, the Centurions, the Churchills. Read up on these. That way, when you actually get into that tank, you have a rough idea of how that tank, why that tank was designed that way. You know? And you actually do better overall in both arcade and realistic. Again, don't forget, use your binoculars. If you don't know where they are, go to your menu, go to controls, go to view controls, and you will find binoculars right there I've got mine set to my tilde key what they do is they you your tank commander climbs out his tank with a pair of binoculars and he starts you know move, you move your mouse around and you can spot trees falling 
gun smoke you know stuff like that you get a heads up of where the enemy is moving so you can counter okay that's the only advice i can give you hope this video was fun for you if it was please give it a thumbs up it really does help the channel grow if you didn't like this video give it a thumbs down again it helps this channel grow most importantly thanks for watching this replay roundup and i'm sorry but you are one lucky some bitch i like to end all my uh videos with a stay safe have fun keep your shows flying keep your enemies dying your cobra commander is out and i'll see you guys in the next one cornering around of course, the biggest weakness is the upper ma uh, uh, the upper uh, uh, chassis, with it only being 16 millimeters. So you got to be careful of artillery, even light artillery will will wreck you. You have to be careful of HE as well, because HE will wreck you. Um, this isn't spaced armor, unfortunately. So don't give your opponents your sides if you if you can't you know if you can't help it. Same as the turret. The turret's not really that strong, but it does have some sort of angling to it, 25 degree angling. So, you know, unless you're going down the hill with, you know,